Welcome along to today's Talking Point. I'm Simon Barlow, joined by Chris Rivers here. And I think, Chris, we've both been quite impressed by what's happening both on and off the field at Everton this summer. Lots of business being done on the transfer front. Big plans, of course, for a new stadium. And uh, it does look like they really are going places. What do you think about Everton this coming season, Chris? Well, they take a lot of momentum into the new season, don't they? They finished last campaign, the last campaign very well indeed. Ended up coming home in seventh after a stuttering start. Marco Silva's job was on the line, it seemed like, at one point around the turn of the year. But they did very well in 2019, beat the likes of Arsenal, Manchester United, Chelsea, and got positive results against Liverpool, which actually prevented them winning the title, didn't it, in the end. So they do carry a lot of momentum forward into the new campaign. They've built on that by signing a couple of good players in uh, Andre Gomez and Fabian Delph. Gomez was on loan last season and did very well indeed. And it looks like they're about to pull off a bit of a coup by landing Moise Keane, the teenager from Juventus, who was very impressive indeed in the brief run-outs he got for the Italians last season. So all looking very positive on the field. Yeah, a new striker, obviously, will excite the fans. So what do we know about this uh, Moise Keane? He, he seems like he's got quite a, a lot of potential, quick, yeah. ag aggressive, strong. You know, he could be a, a new Lukaku for them. He does look a bit like that, doesn't he, in terms of his stature. And his uh, form on the field was pretty good. 17 appearances for Juventus in all competitions, scored seven goals, not a bad return. He was linked with a move to Arsenal, apparently turned them down because they couldn't offer him enough game time. And after meeting Marco Silva, was convinced that Everton was the place to be. And so he looks like he's going to fill that void that Everton have up front. They were relying on Dominic Calvert-Lewin last season. He's not a natural goal scorer, but Moise Kien is certainly somebody who looks very promising indeed for Everton. As you say, on the field, things are going right. And then off the field, they've unveiled these fantastic new designs for a new stadium plan, which could take them up into the... Uh, upper echelons of the Premier League challenging the likes of Man City and Liverpool potentially. Yeah, that's where they want to be. I mean, they finished 7th, 7th and 8th, I think, in the three season, three full seasons since uh, owner Fahad Mashiri uh, made the big investment in Everton and he really is uh, trying to push them into that sort of next level, being a Champions League contender, possibly even more than that in the very uh, distant future for Everton. But this new stadium looks absolutely fantastic. It, it seems to be, you know, a very modern design. Mm -hmm. They're moving to a different area of the city, which will have a completely different feel for the supporters. I think the Goodison Park Stadium, although it's a traditional ground and you know a lot, a lot of people will miss it, I don't think the Everton fans who go in week in, week out will particularly be, uh, be missing it for too long when they see the new stadium, which, you know, it's 52,000 capacity. It's a bit smaller than Liverpool's ground, uh, but it's certainly got that eye-catching uh, sort of style to it as well. A bit more like a new Bundesliga ground or an American football stadium. So I think those plans off the field really are taking shape for Everton now. Maybe uh, over the next couple of years, they can push into that top four. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the talking point today about Everton. Plenty more to come. And of course, don't forget to follow us on social media and do subscribe on YouTube.